Our state flower, the magnolia, is so beautiful. Beautiful velvety white petals and yellow pollen. But let's add some extra color today using oil pastels and water. To begin painting our flower, we're gonna be using some water-based oil pastels. That means we're going to use water to activate them or turn them into a watercolor paint. They're so fun to use. We're also gonna be using analogous colors or colors that are close together on the color wheel. Here's a picture of a color wheel and I will be showing you another example of this color wheel later too when you're ready to paint. This color wheel has lots of colors. It's got the primary and secondary colors. It also has some tertiary colors or colors in between. So we're going to be using colors that are close together. For example, I might be using violet, pink, and red. Those three colors are next door neighbors and they are three colors that are close together. So we're gonna be using three colors only that are close together. I could also use dark green, light green, and yellow. Those are three colors that are close together. Or I could use blue, green, and dark blue. Okay, or a turquoise or something in between. So three colors that are close together and you're gonna try to match these colors as best you can. One more example, I could also use light orange, orange and orange and keep it all orange. It just depends on what you have in your basket and the colors that are available to you, but always use your neighbor colors, three of them. So I think I'm going to use light blue, green and light green. Okay. Those are going to be colors that are close together. Now I could trade out some of these. I could trade this out for a dark green. Okay. Because greens can go together. So I could use any color green. I could always swap them out. If I want to swap out light blue for dark blue, that would be fine too. Okay. So three colors that are close together, any blue, any green, any dark greens. And then I can also use any combination of three colors. To use these, we're going to be tracing around the contour lines or the outside edges of our flower or the black lines that we made with the paint marker only. For example, you're gonna hold your um, oil pastel like a crayon and you're just going to color or trace and I'm staying really close to the black line. I'm not on the black line, but I'm really close to it. We're not making big coloring we're not coloring in the whole thing. We're only coloring close to the edge, okay? Now you can color the whole edge or you can color just some of the edge. I can even go in and color a little piece like that. You don't need a lot of color on these. You can make your lines a little bit thicker in some areas. I'll make kind of a little hump right here. So that way I have a thicker area on my flower. Now, while I still have this blue in my hand, I'm gonna use it in a few other places. Okay, you see how I'm not coloring the whole thing. I'm just tracing around the edges of my black marker line and I can make some areas thick and some areas thin. And I might use this later. I'm just gonna show you an example of how to use this. Now, to turn it into a watercolor, I'm gonna need my hot, uh, my, I mean my doggy dish, my brush, which I hold like a pencil right behind the silver part. I'm not holding it on the silver part or at the top, and I'm not touching these bristles or hairs with my hands either, okay? That's only for water and the pastel. So I'm gonna dip it in the water, tap, 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 you only need a little bit, and then I'm gonna paint over the oil pastel to get it wet, and then I'm gonna move my brush to the center, like that, and it turns into a watercolor paint. Then I'm gonna go around and put water on the rest of the lines that I made on this petal, and then I'm gonna move it to the center or to different areas of the petal, okay? And I'm kind of just making the inside of the petal with a little bit of light blue. I don't want to color the whole petal. I just want to color the outside edges or a little bit on the edge, going to the center a little bit, but I'm gonna leave some white. If you need more water, if your oil pastel is not really doing anything, you can get a little bit more water, especially over those thicker lines and make it dissolve or spread a little bit more. And when we do this, we're using value or showing how colors can be light or dark. It's gonna be dark around the edges and light towards the center. 
Love it. Now I still got blue on this brush, so I don't need to clean it. I'm just gonna get some more water. And when you paint over this, I want you to get rid of that crayon look. So I want you to keep painting until the crayon texture is gone, until it looks more like a watercolor paint, okay? So that one, the crayon texture is going away because I used enough water. I can even move and paint this side that didn't have any crayon or, I mean, oil pastel if I want. Now, if you're thinking, ooh, I don't have enough color, I want it to be darker, please don't add oil pastel on top of a wet area. Next time, just use a little bit more on another color flower. And if it's super light, that's okay. Remember, magnolias are mostly white. We don't wanna have a whole bunch of color. We want to leave plenty of white and it makes it look really nice. So get rid of that crayon color, the crayon looking texture, okay? For example, if I just painted over it like that, I still see like the crayon look, the bumpiness of it and that texture that looks like a crayon. I don't want that. I want it to look smooth. So get a little bit more water if that happens and smooth it out, okay? And we're actually not coloring like our petals. We don't wanna change the color of our white petals. We just wanna show light reflecting or light shining on our petals. And we're gonna leave some of the center white. All right, now I'm gonna use another color that's next door to blue, but I'm gonna clean my brush because when I'm done with the oil pastel, I know I'll probably forget. So when you're done with a color, you think you're ready to switch, wipe it on, uh, dip it in the water and wipe, wipe on dirty old SpongeBob. That way I will not forget to have a clean brush. I'm gonna be using a dark green now and same thing. I'm tracing along the edges and this one's gonna be a thicker line. So I kind of did like that and then I'll go in and color it in. And since I use a pretty thick line, I might not want to keep going. I just want it to be small because I know that when I add water, it's going to make a lot of green. And this is a bigger petal too, so that'll be perfect. You can make some of your lines thick and some thin. Be careful that your wrist doesn't rest in your wet area. You can even turn your paper if that helps. Okay. An experiment. If you like the way the thick lines look and then it gets skinnier, do it. If you want to show what, if you want to see what just a skinny little line looks like and how much color, that's fine too. Some petals can be lighter than others. Some petals can have more color than others. Oh, I already got, I already cleaned my brush, but I do need some water. So again, add a little bit of water, paint on top of the oil pastel, get it all wet, and then start to move your brush to a spot that doesn't have oil pastel especially towards the middle and even the edges. And keep adding water until that crayon texture is gone. Good job. Don't forget to look at the color wheel picture that I'm gonna have on the board before you switch to a new oil pastel and just make sure their neighbors are pretty close together. Now it's getting really light. I don't wanna add more oil pastel, but I'm gonna keep moving to fill in this large area. And if it's super, super light, that's okay. It looks wonderful. Also, I don't wanna keep adding more and more water to this because eventually it'll all be gone and it'll all look really light like this. If you keep adding more water, it kind of melts. And so you don't wanna to add too much water. You wanna still see the darkness around the edges. You wanna see that dark green. Okay, I could do this petal with a, that dark green or that light blue, but I think I'm gonna switch to light green. I'm gonna turn my paper so that my wrist isn't resting in all this wet area, only on the edges, okay? But you can leave spaces and skip around. These are the contour lines or the outside, the lines that make the shape of the flower petal. So I'm staying close to those contour lines. Try not to get any on my black lines either, but if it gets on there a little bit, it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a really thick line right here. And then I have a little fold over here. I definitely wanna add some color to this, but I'm not coloring in the whole thing. Just enough to get it wet to add to the other areas. And then you can also do the same thing on the leaves. 
okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and let you add a fourth color if they're neighbors, but I'll show you that in a second. So three is just, I don't think it's gonna be enough color. I think I'm gonna add another light green area. On the leaves, you can trace next to or color next to the veins. I think that would look really nice. And then also the edges like we did on the petals, but not the inside. Stick to the veins. I'm gonna do another color with that one. Stick to the veins and the outside, okay? I'm gonna clean my brush. See, I forgot. It has dark green on there, so I wanna make sure it's clean. Get some more water. Add it to the oil pastel first, and then move the brush around to the other areas. This leaf is smaller than my petal, so I don't have a lot of room for my brush to go. I just wanna make sure that I add enough water so that that crayon look is gone and it looks more like a paint. Now, I could add an oil pastel to the pollen, or if you have a color that you really like that's still on your brush, you can just paint inside the pollen, especially if they're really small. Okay. Remember, not too much water. You don't wanna get rid of the dark line. You just wanna make it enough to kind of melt or add to the flower. And then I'm gonna paint inside with this green just to see what it looks like, experimenting, and then I might use an oil pastel on those. Okay, I'm gonna work on that leaf later, but let me show you. I used three colors already. I used light blue, dark green, and light green. If I add a fourth color, it could be another blue or a yellow, okay? So let's add, let's add that rule. You can use four colors. Just make sure they're all close together. I definitely wouldn't use an orange or a pink because they are across the street and they're not next door to the three colors I already use. I use these three colors so I can go here or here. Okay, neighbors. I think I'm gonna use yellow. And I think I will use yellow on the pollen, maybe just two of them, and then on the leaves. Remember, when you're using color on the leaves, stay close to those veins and close to the edges, okay? and you need to add color to every single petal or leaf, but you're gonna have a lot of white space showing because we're showing contrast or light and dark areas. Some parts are gonna be colorful and then the center is gonna be white with no color. And that's what contrast is when you use things that are opposite. And then I will speed this up, but you will be going slowly. Then I'll show you another quick example so that you are ready to paint. Have fun. Also, these oil pastels are gently used so they may have dirty marks on them. If that happens, use this little white paper to clean off the tip until it's pretty clean to you.